So, excuse my voice. I'm getting over a cold. So this is going to be a painful video to make. But I just had to make it because earlier when I was listening to Rush, I heard him talking about this cat call video. Girl that was going through New York City. I'm sorry, a woman. I don't want to be accused of being misogynist. She was going through New York City, walked through New York City for 10 hours. And a friend recorded it. And she got catcalled all day. Constantly, incessantly, nonstop. It was bothering. It was harassment. It's wrong. It's been going on forever. Excuse me. Uh, sorry, I have to have a drink. First thing I want to point out. This is taking place in New York City. One of the bastions of liberalism. De Blasio, Bloomberg, they have done, they have got so much control. The liberals have so much control in New York City. And yet, this is New York City. This is where it's taking place at. Also, and this is one thing I know as a child of big cities. There's a thing called situational awareness that you have when you are raised in big cities. You understand to pay attention in the hood you are at. How you carry yourself will determine whether you are perceived as a predator or a prey and if you look like the prey every predator in the area will try to pounce on you or they will size you up just like the gazelles herd going across the plains and the cheetahs are checking them out picking which one they're going to eat it's much the same in a large city this woman was not getting catcalled walking down Wall Street in the Upper East Side. These are not guys in suits that are catcalling her. Oh, I'm sure there may have been some. But the video concentrates on the poor, the lower class. These are the victims. Yes, I'm saying it. Saying it. The victims of the liberal society, of Johnson's great society. These are the people that have been trapped in it. These are the people with the least amount of education. These are the people that have the least potential future. She is going into areas where she does not belong, first off. And she's making a target of herself. She should be very happy that nothing else happened. It's a statement of the way the law enforcement has improved in New York City since the 70s. Especially under Giuliani. Because he took the gloves off. And I guess the gloves haven't been put completely back on. With Bloomberg and now de Blasio. Oh, I'm sure de Blasio will turn around and not only put the gloves back on. He may cut off the cop's hands. But, Miss uh, Sashana, whatever your last name is. Your effort to make a point on what's wrong with society. What's wrong with men. First off, you can't change human nature. Second off, you're a damn fool for going out there and making yourself a target just so you can turn around and prove a point. Give me a break. No. <coughs> In the end, you, Miss Sashana, are responsible for yourself. And if you put yourself in a situation which no sane person would put themselves in. 
then you have not only the person that attacked you to blame, you have yourself partially to blame too. And this is not blaming the victim. <coughs> I'm sorry, I apologize for the coughing. This is blaming the idiot because you are being an idiot. And you were scared. I could tell by the way you turned your eyes with the person that was walking alongside you for so long. Grow up, Miss Sashana. This is not going to help your career. Well, it probably will help your acting career. But it's not helping your common sense. You definitely need to be successful so you can have a posse. You can have a security guard to protect you if you're going to do stupid things like this. If you spent any extended time in the city, you would know that there's things you do not do. There's neighborhoods you do not go to unless you are a predator. Because predators don't tend to fight other predators. Too difficult of a target. But they do look for a prey. And you did not walk like you were looking for a fight. Sorry if the truth hurts. This is just the reality of life in the big city. So, before all you feminists and all you crazy people start talking about how wrong and evil it is, it's New York. It's a bastion of liberalism. It is your creation. It is repeated in every major city. Oakland, San Francisco, Los Angeles, San Diego, Seattle, Portland, Detroit, Chicago, Miami, Orlando, Atlanta, Dallas, Houston. All of these cities and many, many more, the same thing would happen. The respect that you seek, you do not get from the people that have no hope and have nothing to lose. Try to do something with some common sense. Well, I'm going to end this before I cough anymore. Much love to all of you on the right and to those of you on the left. Stu, doing stupid stuff like this to try to prove a point. <laughs>